Meantime, police are looking for answers after a man is fatally stabbed in Rittenhouse Square. Eyewitnesses say they heard a group arguing on the corner of 18th and Walnut Street before the victim was killed. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabello has the details. Police are now searching for surveillance video that will show exactly what happened here at the entrance to Rittenhouse Square overnight. In the meantime, today, neighbors are shaken up after learning about this deadly attack. It's important to be alert, to not be on your cell phone, um, and to be paying attention when you're walking around anywhere in the city. Crime scene tape and evidence markers, not what most, including Jenny Davis, expect to see in Rittenhouse Square. I work overnight, and I have to be to work every night at 1030. I'm just concerned. I have three children. Police say a deadly stabbing unfolded on the corner of 18th and Walnut Streets around 10 o'clock last night. Officers were called to the scene for a report of a group of people fighting one man. When police arrived, they found the 51 year old victim stabbed multiple times in the neck, chest, shoulder, and back. But police say the victim was uncooperative and refused treatment, not only from police, but when medics arrived too, they believe the victim may have been intoxicated. This stabbing victim physically refused to get into the back of the medic unit where he was actually struggling with police and the medics. While in the back of the medic unit, he was still uncooperative. The victim would later die at the hospital, but before being taken there, police were able to track down a possible suspect based on an eyewitness description of the attacker. The police did a good job. They stopped somebody fitting the exact description immediately, brought him right back to the scene. But our victim, while he was still conscious, walking and talking, was just very uncooperative. The victim refused to identify an attacker, so police were forced to let that person go. At this point, no motive for this attack, and police have not yet recovered a weapon either. In Rittenhouse Square, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News.